this video we're going to take a look at formatting numbers and we've got a couple different options to use here so let's go ahead and create a new project and I'm going to call this project formatting numbers I'll go ahead and hit OK and what we're going to do is create ourselves here an integer to begin with to use as our number to format so I'm just going to go ahead and say int and I'm going to call this int num1 so I've got an integer created I've basically declared my integer and I haven't initialized it yet with a value but we're going to use this later on. I'm also going to go ahead and create a string. So I'm going to go to string and we're going to call this one, uh, I'll just put an f in front of it. Let's see, string, put an f in front of this one and then call this one num2. Actually we can just remove the number 2 altogether, we'll just call that one string f num, which is going to stand for our formatted number. And so now that we've got both of these created an integer and a string, let's go ahead and set some values to this one. So we're going to go ahead and say num1 is going to equal, and we'll just say 2,500. And what we want to do now is we want to actually change the way this number actually looks. And so I'll go ahead and put the semicolon and enter here, or return, and I can actually change the formatting of it. So to do the formatting, we're going to go ahead and say fnum is going to equal, so this is a string, and it's going to equal my number one, but we're going to first have to convert this over to a string, and I don't have to use the convert, I can just say the variable's name, num1, dot, and then we're going to say to string, and we're going to use this to basically convert this variable, this integer that we have here, to a string that's going to be formatted in a particular way. And so if I start my parenthesis now, I've got a couple different options to convert this with. And we're going to start off with just the capital C. And so I'm going to put the capital C in quotes here. And I'm going to end my parenthesis, and we're going to go ahead and put the semicolon. And I'm going to go ahead and just write a little note here. Two forward slashes for my comment. And I'm just going to go ahead and say converts to currency. And you'll see how this works here in just a moment. I'll go ahead and just hit enter there. Let's go ahead and write this line out. So I'm going to do a console write line. And we're just going to go ahead and say write this fnum variable out. And let's go ahead and run this application now. We'll say debug, start without debugging. And you'll see that it's taking it has taken my $2,500 or 2500 and we've converted it over to a currency so 2500 and you can see it has my standard decimal points and I can change this as well, I'm going to go ahead and close this by actually adding a number after my format type for instance I can add a 3 after this C3, and let's rerun this application and you'll notice that by adding that number to the end of my formatting type I've added three decimal places here and that looks weird because most of us don't format with three decimal places so we're going to go ahead and just use the standard I'm going to take that three back out and it's just going to leave C as my standard so this is formatting for currency now next I want to format this as a number so let's go ahead and I'm just going to go ahead and copy these three lines of code that I have here just do a control C to copy that and I'm going to go ahead and click at the end of this one and space down a little bit find some room to paste this. And so what we've got here is we said num1 equals 2500. That's okay that we're repeating it here. I've got fnum and I said def num1 to string. And instead of c, let's go ahead and convert this to just an n. And that's going to be for a number. And I'm going to go ahead and say instead of converts to currency, let's go ahead and just say converts to a number. I'm going to ask, it's already a number, but we'll see here what the difference is when we run this. So let's go ahead and go to debug start without debugging and you'll see now that on my number I've actually got a comma here so it's 2500 and it actually has two decimal places here by default as well so this is the difference between if I did not convert this to a number it would have been 2500 zero, zero. and so now we've got the comma and I actually have two decimal places uh, represented afterwards and so now if I did not want to run this with the decimal places in there, I of course could just put a zero after the end, which is going to represent that I wanted a number with zero decimal places. And so we're going to go ahead and just rerun this real quick so that we can actually see this. And you'll see now that on my application I've got just the two comma 500. So I've got basically 2500 written as we would normally write our numbers. So I'll go ahead and close this again. And now we're going to do one more conversion here, and this is actually going to be to a percentage. So I'm going to go ahead and just highlight my text again. 
we'll just do a control C to copy this and I've got a little bit of room here to paste this so I'll paste that one thing to note when you're copying and pasting text make sure that you've got your closing curly brace down below or spaced down quite a bit so that way you don't accidentally paste it after this and, or actually delete this as well because you'll need the three different curly braces down here to close all my opening curly braces that I have open. So now what we're going to do here is instead of converting it to a currency or a number, let's go ahead and change this to a percentage. So that's going to be the capital P and then I'm going to go ahead and say convert to a percent for my notes here. Let's just go ahead and rerun this application and you'll see now that I've got an actual percentage and since 2500 is actually quite a large percentage if we multiplied it by the hundred you're going to notice that it has actually increased it so let's just for this sake go ahead and we'll change this number to a smaller number and in order for us to do that the smallest number I can currently use here is going to be zero or one because num1 is an integer and so what I'm going to want to do here is actually use a smaller number. I'm going to need to use a decimal instead of this num1. So I'm going to go ahead and actually take this line out altogether. I'm just going to go ahead and create myself a decimal to work with. And so I'm just going to go ahead and say double. And I'm going to go ahead and set this to num2. And then now, and I need to put my semicolon here. So now after I've got this, I can go ahead and just say num2 is going to equal 0 0.5 and so this is a standard 50 percent that we've got here put that semicolon in here and so when I say f num and I'm using this conversion here I want to make sure that I'm converting num2 now as my number to the string as a percentage so now let's go ahead and rewrite this or rerun this application debug start without debugging and you'll notice here that I've got a 50% and I've got the two decimal places after this so if I want to remove that as well let's just go ahead and say P and then we'll say zero decimal points afterwards and I'll just do a debug and start without debugging and now you'll notice that it's just a straight 50% so this is actually converting the numbers that we have within our C-sharp programming language to formatted strings